Okay, so you've got the book coming in. So there's some sort of studying or information or maybe a course that you're doing at the moment. Uh, and um, that is uh, something that uh, is, you know, whatever you're going to do, whatever qualification you're going for is going to bring you a lot of fame, uh, a lot of um, success. So it's going to help you with your success uh, or moving forward. So it's you're going to be very successful whatever course you're doing. So what, if you're taking an exam, you will pass it. Um, it's, but also it's going to lead to success and recognition you having done this particular course or this this particular um, um, maybe seminars, whatever you're doing uh, to further your uh, career is going to bring in a lot of success and it's going to bring in a lot of uh, recognition. So you've been having a little bit of loss re recently. Um, you know, there could have been a theft going on around you. You've got the mice over here. But the mice talks about, uh, the mouse talks about, um, gradual loss of something so just watch your finances make sure that you're checking your bank accounts uh that something's not eating away at your finances without you even knowing about it so there's something some kind of loss going on around you it's a gradual loss but it is a loss nevertheless and you need to just uh go through your finances to see that you're not losing money for a no apparent reason so you've had some um problems going on recently you've got the clouds over here uh that you've had to deal with and uh you know um there's also a journey, a trip that you've taken, some sort of, uh, maybe you've taken holiday, maybe you've gone on a business trip, maybe you've gone on a business trip to try and sort out some problems over here. And that seems like whatever happened along the trip seems to have, um, you know, this trip seems to have re resolved a lot, of the, a lot of those problems. Maybe you're planning on taking the journey, but it looks, since it's in the past, you've definitely taken the journey and it seems like you went to go and resolve those problems or issues that you had. Now, after this course, you, you've got the fish card coming in, which is talking about um, money coming in. So whatever this this uh, uh, course or study that you did is going to bring in extra money, uh, you know, allow you, it's going to give you that information or that know-how uh, to bring in extra money. Other way you could read, possibly read this is that there's information that is being revealed to you that's going to bring you a lot of fame and renown. And that's going to bring in a lot of money. So that could be another way of actually interpreting this particular thing. But you can see there's, there are two money cards here. So something, some information is coming in or some something that you're doing uh, brings in a lot of wealth, actually, because, um, you know, and this pig um, is, you know, a lot of luck, a lot of wealth. Uh, and it's a lot of honors. Um, so whatever, maybe this course that you're doing in uh, brings in a lot of money and a lot of fame and a lot of wealth. Um, whatever information you've got uh, coming to you is going to be something that brings in this information and fame and wealth. So a lot of money coming, there's, a, there's a, a almost, it's not actually a windfall. It's more like something steady and a lot of it coming in. So a lot of money with this pig and uh, this fish. I think it's very rare to get the two cards lying next to each other. So it's quite amazing that the two of them come in together. And then you've got this fame card coming in, uh, you know, accolades, uh, a lot of recognition um, coming in this, uh, with the this star card. So um, there's something that is coming in for you where that is going to bring in a lot of wealth. So you're very stressed out about uh, whatever is going on around you. There might be a lot of people that are saying a lot of things about you. Because um, these are the swords and they talk, you know, they, they're usually associated with verbal, uh, verbal abuse, rather. Um, betrayal, uh, people saying nasty things, backbiting, backstabbing kind of thing. And you look like you're in a position with this nine of swords. You're very anxious, very worried, but also in a position where you're feeling very, very deflated, uh, very out of control, very helpless in this particular situation. So people have been giving you a lot of grief around you and causing you a lot of problems and saying a lot of things about you behind your back and it's been very vindictive. So all of that is going on with you at the moment. So you've got this ten of staffs and you've got the four of coins over here. So you've been carrying a lot of burdens and responsibilities, you know, working very, very hard to do it. And, you know, being, this card, this man looks very poverty-stricken because he's walking in the snow without any shoes on. So, uh, you know, and it's still snowing and he can't see where he's going as well. So you're carrying all these burdens. Uh, it's causing financial loss for you. It's not allowing you to make money and people are not giving you, uh, you know, they're not paying you well enough. Um, and, you know, it's... Um, you're carrying these responsibilities. It seems like nobody's appreciating it. You're almost being tortured, if you like. Um, uh, 
uh, you know, being treated really badly, this seems like, you know, you've been abused, uh, making you do so much. Uh, it's almost like a situation of abuse. And um, you've got it crossed by the four of coins, and you can see this man is trying very, very hard to save money. So you are watching your money quite carefully, and, you know, it seems like um, you're having to curb your spending, having to really... It's got you, you know, this man's down on his knees, he's crouching. So you're really, really concerned about your finances and you're watching them very, very carefully um, and you're trying not to spend at all. And you can see you're working very, very hard with a job that's not paying you well at all, carrying a lot of res responsibilities, not being paid well, and yet you're having to watch finances as well. Um, you know, um, almost living from hand to mouth, if you like, uh, trying to save. Maybe you're trying to buy a house. Maybe you're trying, you know, just saving for, for general living. And having to work extra hours, extra shifts, take up other people's jobs, extra jobs, uh, and and you're not getting any, uh, you know, you're not getting any benefits from doing that. So uh, quite a pretty difficult situation to be in. And also, despite the fact that you're carrying all these burdens, people just seem to be really nasty around you. They seem to be, uh, you know, they've got you in this kind of situation where you crouched and cowered, where you know you you feel at a loss of what to do or feeling very helpless. So you're you're under a lot of pressure at the moment, uh, and you know a lot of responsibilities, and you're not earning very very well at this at this point. There's financial problems as well that is going that are going on. So in the past year, you've got the patriarch, which is um, uh, the hierophant. Uh, you've been in a situation of maybe being um, you know imparting knowledge, teaching, maybe working in big institutions, um, you know something that's got to do with traditional um, um, work. Uh, something that's got traditional values, imparting a lot of knowledge. This usually talks about big institutions. So it could be hospitals, uh, you know, banks, uh, because um, the Hierophant also rules money. It's, it's a card ruled by Taurus, uh, business kind of uh, invest, you know, business um, businesses really. Um, and, you know, you've got a lot of information that you are handing out or you are receiving a lot of information. So you could be involved with uh, information uh, that's, got, you know, very traditionally based and it involves institutions as well. And that seems to be what you've been doing uh, for the last year. It, it's it's something that maybe you're also in a, in a um, kind of teacher role where you're imparting that kind of information uh, to people uh, around you. And, and now you've got the Justice cards coming in over here. This is an Archangel Michael card, and this has been happening in the last three months. You might be facing some sort of legal situation going on uh, around you. Some legalities, maybe, maybe signing contracts, maybe dealing with legal issues in this last three months. So there's a lot of financial loss going on around you, and that's been on your mind. Uh, you can see that you know there are different aspects, uh, almost a fall from grace, if you like, a fall. So something's happened that has caused, some sort of crisis has happened in your life that has caused you to be, uh, maybe you've lost your home, your job. Uh, it could be that, you know, you've been, because these, this couple, um, you know, they seem to have a lot of, there's a lot of disputes. They got married, there was a lot of disputes. Um, they seem to have been thrown out of their home and now they're homeless right now. So you're going through a phase, a very, very difficult phase. This has been on your mind uh, of loss, uh, and, you know, where, where you're not earning very well. Uh, money is a lot on your mind. You're carrying a lot of burdens when you're doing two or three jobs at the same time and you're not earning well enough. So something, some crisis has happened in your life that has caused you to maybe you know you could have lost your your home as well and you know you're forced to to go into like sort of temporary situations but really a very difficult period that you're going through at the moment and you can see there's no help around you uh, you're also having to face um, a lot of problems as well so you know people are not being the kindest as well you know they might not be uh, speaking well to you uh making making you feel uh you know it's like a public humiliation maybe making you feel you know like a slave to whatever you're doing but lording their um their position over you so the five of swords is a lot about battles and verbal abuse and you know vindictive behavior so uh, this is the thing that is probably causing a lot of um you know upset in your life causing all the stress whatever people are saying and maybe you're dealing with somebody that is very dominating as well uh, somebody that is very controlling and causing you to feel really um, you know small humiliated very very uh, you know bringing you really um, you know down to your knees there are two cards over here that are actually doing that this is the financial um, the, the four of coins where this man is on his knees because of financial problems and this uh, 
person, I think it's a woman, is on their her knees because this man is very dominating, uh, you know, very aggressive. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's all this, he's got a sword in his hand, so he's controlling her with these words. So what's going on with you? You are looking for some sort of help, somebody to come and help you get over the situation. You are hoping uh, for somebody to come and help you. You might be ha getting some sort of support from somebody around you, a friend, a very, very close friend, uh, somebody who is able to give you that support to get through this particular situation. And, um, you know, it looks like you are going to be able to move away from it. So it looks like you're going to leave all these problems behind. Because if you look at these cards, these two cards are almost next to each other in the tarot. This man is walking away from that situation. So in order for you to actually uh, overcome all those problems that you had, it looks like you're going to have to, with the seven of, uh, six of swords, move away from it. Just take your things and go. So it looks like uh, it's a situation that you're going to have to just walk away from. You know, if you if this has been done to you, uh, you know, not where you used to live, or, you know, it's actually going back home. It, this card is actually showing this um, soldier returning home after war. So you're turning his back on the war and returning home. So you might have to leave the situation and go back to uh, where you, you know, your home. Uh, uh, you know, leave whatever is happening. Maybe you are working away from home and you may have to really just abandon this uh, situation and, and walk away from it. So you want the situation to end with this uh, completion card. You want a good job. You want, uh, you know, you want to re achieve. You want achievement. You want to receive uh, all the benefits uh, of having a good stable job and money. Uh, that's on your hopes and fears. You've been working very hard to try to get to the top of the career ladder. And this is what you want. You want to achieve the height of everything. As far as your career goes, as far as a good family life goes, as far as having new, a lot of money goes. So um, you've got the Temperance card, the Empress card, and you've got um, the Countess of Staves. So the Temperance, temperance card is, uh, you know, talking about finding allies. So find yourself somebody whom you can um, ask for some advice from and also people that are going to be there to help you. So you're going to have to put out some feelers uh, in the situation for somebody to help you out. Uh, you know, somebody who will come in and give you some good advice or somebody who will get you out of the situation. This is us looking for, for help in the solutions. You're going to have to look around you for some help in that situation. Um, the Temperance card is ruled uh, by Archangel uh, Raphael. So there's somebody around you that will be able to help you and guide you and get you through the situation. And the Empress card is talking about, you know, uh, you will be able to, it might be a woman uh, that you're asking for this help from, a female, uh, because this is the Empress card and she's very much in charge, in control, uh, uh, you know, somebody who is uh, at the head, higher up. So you might need to go and ask her for help to get you out of the situation, whatever problems. This is the Empress card. It's a, it's a card ruled by Venus. So sh this person will listen to you and they will give you that aid that you need. Because this person is a very maternal, nurturing person, this empress. Uh, and uh, maybe this person that you need to seek help from is that kind of person. A person in authority, but also a person who is very nurturing. They might be somebody older than you, uh, but they will be able to guide you and help you and give you that support that you need. And you also need to, with this Countess of state uh, uh, Staffs, you need to be somebody who is very proactive. So you need to go in and you need to, maybe you need to send this person a letter, or write to this person some sort of note, uh, send them a message uh, verbal, verbally, because um, in written form, sorry, not verbally, but in written form. Because you can see this woman's got a feather in her hand. The book's on the floor over there. So it looks like you will need to actually make some sort of a written request for this help that you need to get out of the situation that you are. You might need to put down all your grievances on a paper and put it forth to this woman, the Empress, uh, in order for her to, uh, you know, be able to help you. She'd be able to read it in black and white and she'd be able to, to give you that assistance that you need. So you might need to actually verbally write down all your grievances and ask for this help with this temperance card and ask this, this person in charge this empress energy or this empress or this person that's um, got this nurturing kind of energy uh, who's in charge higher up than you, uh, you might actually need to go in there and actually ask and write it down. And you've got to be proactive about it because the 
the Countess of Stas, which is like the Queen of Rods, she's a very proactive person, uh, you know, very, very um, gets the job done uh, kind of person. And so you might need to actually go in there and ask for help, but it might need to be, uh, you know, written down properly, um, and made formally requested, if you like, almost formally requested. Um, so that might be the case. Okay, so you got the Seven of Autumn, which uh, is the cow. And it says, planning resources and efforts you've invested in your dream will reap great rewards. In the meantime, have the patience and meditate on your next steps. So it looks like um, the Seven of Autumn is actually, um, you know, uh, there's like the Seven of Pentacles waiting for something to happen. Uh, you have invested a lot of time and effort into this particular situation. And it looks like, you know, a lot of planning has gone into it. And it looks like you will reap your rewards eventually with this cow. And the second one is the Two of Spring, which says your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause has brought you great success. In fact, it may be uh, in your best interest to get a partner to assist you uh, in your endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. So you are going to need to ask for help. This card of the Two of Spring is saying that you need to ask for help and assistance. And with this Temperance card, it looks like you do need to ask for help and assistance and look for allies, people that are going to be on your side. And here you are also looking for help and assistance. And it looks like people will come in and help you out in the situation. So it doesn't look like it's a situation that you can actually, um, you know, even though you want to abandon it and you want to move away from it, you want to move away from all this drama that is going on, you're going to actually have to invest a little time in, in looking for help around you from the people that you're uh, working with or the people that are around you. And the last one is the King of Summer, which says a trustworthy person or relationship enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from the heart. So it looks like there is somebody above you. You can see this is the Emperor Penguin. And um, there is somebody around you in charge who will be able to assist you. So there is somebody that you, need, you do need to approach that person for this help. And they're very trustworthy, so they, and they will be able to help you out. So it looks like you're going to have to go into the Empress or approach the Empress. Um, you know, even the King of Penguins is showing uh, an energy that of a person that's in charge that you need to approach them for that help that you need. And you might have to actually write it out, write on, write them a letter, send them a note, send them some sort of information that they need in order for you to actually. Um, conquer this now with the queen of uh, staffs she usually is somebody who is very victorious so she's a really positive energy that is coming through so you know you will uh, be able to conquer this and but you will do it with help from other people and if somebody is giving you a lot of grief and making you feel rather small and humiliated uh, you will be able to sort this particular problem so although there's you know you've been dealing with a lot of financial issues right now where you're having to save money but you've also been re dealing with a lot of responsibilities and people giving you a lot of grief wherever you are working and it looks like if you go in and ask for some help ask for assistance uh, you will get that um, and it you know you'll be able to sort this problem out but make sure you are asking for help. It looks like with the seven of autumn, you will reap the rewards of your hard work. Um, you know, all those burdens that you've been carrying over here with this uh, uh, ten of staffs. Tens also, I say, uh, signify the end of that particular cycle. And with the seven of autumn, it looks like, uh, you know, your ship is coming in. Uh, just a little bit more patience, I guess, um, uh, and that will uh, bring in the rewards. But in the meantime, while you're waiting for that to happen, make sure that you're getting help and assistance from somebody around you.